Okay, guys, a quick Rambler lesson. Okay, in the 50s, they came out with the American. Okay? That body style lasted until 1960. That was the one that was all rounded over. 61, 2, and 3 was the one that was a square box. Much smaller than this. Narrower and smaller than this. Okay, 64 is my wagon. Okay, which is the same cab or cockpit, except the nose is three and a half inches shorter. I don't know if you guys are aware of that. This is not the same. I cannot interchange the front end with my wagon, even though I can interchange the doors. Okay, my wagon ends out here. I don't have this massive overhang even before I shorten the wheelbase. Okay, 64 was when they came out with that body style. Okay, you have different fender wells, or wheel well lips in the back, you got the line that rides. Okay, like a Nova and like an AMX. Okay, you got an extra rib in the roof that comes around here. You see that in my wagon. Okay, 65 is the same as the 64, except they changed the shape of the radiator support so they can move the radiator forward. That allowed them to put the overhead valve six engine in that they came out with. Okay, so it went from that old, uh, what was it, 195.6 or 196.5, I think it was, um, engine, which wasn't a bad engine, to the modern day engine, or the one that made it up to 06, that turned into the four liter. Okay, which was there, turned out to be one of the best engines they ever made. It was a uh, 199 to 232. 258, a 280-something if you were down in Mexico, and then it went back to a 4-liter, okay? In 66, that's when they changed the sides to look like this car, and they lengthened the nose to 3.5 inches. Now, if you look at the nose of this car in a 66, the only difference is my grill comes down and the bottom is flat. A 66 comes up equally, so the top and bottom match. So you can almost take the headlight door and flip it so the grill is narrower. So it still looks like two dumbbells and a grill, almost like a 64, but they're obviously square. Okay, that's the only year it had a one-of-a-kind dashboard. Where it didn't quite come to the round gauges yet. Okay, it still had the sweep type dashboard, but it was plastic. Okay, so it was a mixture of like a 65 style speedometer, but it was modern day plastic like this to fit in there. Okay, and you still had the rib in the roof. And you had the thin tail lights in the back. 64, the back of the car is flat, it does not have this dip. 64, 65. 64 has an oval tail light. 65 has a rounded tail light and flat. 66 has this and then these rectangle lights that go in there. 67 started this back, okay? That nose, the grill bar is different in it, but it's that nose, everything's interchangeable. Still has the rib in the roof and still has the wide rear window. The windows were just wide. 68, which is this, they went with a smaller back window, okay? They went with that dashboard, that grill configuration, it got side marker lights, and if you ordered, by 68 it was only a 220 or a 440, this is a 220. The moldings would connect these, that's why they tape it down. This is made for molding to connect them, okay? Prior to 68, the word American was over here. Once they put those markers on, they had to find a place for it, so they just jammed it over there. 69, there was no American anymore. Okay, 69 looked like this. Okay, but over here it says Rambler and has a red, white, and blue block. It doesn't say American anymore. So 68 is the last year of the American. 69 was a Rambler only. 70 was the Hornet. And the Hornet went from 70 to 77. Okay, so the Hornet's this replacement. That's why all, everything on all the undercarriage replaces. Then in 78 it became the Concorde, and then in time it turned into the Eagle. So that's the whole run of this car. How many different times they redid it. Off the same 
underpinnings almost. Well, starting at 64 was the same underpinnings up till uh, when the Hornet came out. The suspension, well, the cross member and stuff and the lower control arms are all interchangeable, but it went with the um, different style coil springs. It doesn't have trunnions anymore, it's upper and lower ball joints, like Junior's car. So, that's the whole history of them. So everyone is different in its own way, but most of them, you know what I mean? It's like subtle differences. Uh, well, they're all subtle differences, actually. So, my favorite of all the years, depending on what configuration it is, in a two-door sedan, two-door two sedan's my favorite. I'm not a hard top guy. Uh, in two-door sedan, my favorite is a 67 with the bigger glass and no marker light. And the rest of the car is pretty much identical. So I just like the glass better. This is stronger. That was the reason for doing it. They made the the C pillar wider, and then as the year went on, they lengthened the unit body frame rails all the way to the back to stiffen these things up. So, so 67 is my favorite, but 67, 68 are almost identical. So, and then I forgot, I think it's Mexico and I think Australia, Ziggy, you'll have to correct me, the word Rambler continues on. It's a Rambler Hornet, not an AMC Hornet. So, okay guys, I'm out of here. I'm going to ramble on.